Hey kids, in Vertical here. Welcome back to Blood Moon Rising. Oh, no, wait, this is Project Ozone 2. <laughs> yeah, um, let's see here. I finished off quarrying way, way, way over here somewhere. Uh, where that um, stronghold was. This is this, the end portal frame because you can't break those. These are all warberry bushes, um, which also can't be harvested out. And uh, I have a bit of a confession to make. I killed John Senna. Well, actually I nerfed John Senna. I didn't kill him, I got rid of him. You see, what I had a problem with was I would build set up the quarry I would build myself a little bunker underground five ten blocks down under the hill in a, in a mountainside whatever I could and that little bugger would blow up and destroy me kill me uh, knock me off the world blew up the entire quarry at one point um, and I was getting just a little bit frustrated because I had, every time he did that, I'd had to roll back to the last uh, auto backup, roll back up. I had to reload that. I had to fight with Journey Map a few times, reload that. It actually took me about five days to do a, about two days worth of work. So I went into configs and I nerfed John Senna. Um, sorry. A, a hostile mob that blows up when it is shot by a skeleton, jumped on by a spider, or spots you through 10 layers of dirt is not a fair mob. It's not a fair fight. I don't give a rat's ass if this guy is some kind of superhero or what. Don't care. He's gone. He's out. I, uh, I'm trying to play this game to enjoy it, not play this game to live cowering in a hole in fear, afraid that I'm going to get blown up by some psycho creeper that is more OP than I am. Um, so, enough on that. You'll also notice that all the, tre all the uh, boxes have the nice Christmas trim on it. Um, yes, today is actually about the day before Christmas when I'm recording this, so uh, if I've missed you, there's your happy holidays thing, Merry Christmas thing, whatever thing. Okay. Said it, done it, over with. <clears throat> now, um, I wanted to start working on was the storage room. Now, I've got a few things here that I want to show you, first and foremost, about these bins. Uh, don't ever wrench them. Um, like, just shift and click on them with a wrench. If they have a piece of item duct on top of them, don't wrench the item duct. If you break that item duct or wrench this box, it will explode. If you pick these boxes. You can break these by hitting them from the side. If you break them from the front, they explode. Um, they're bad. They're nasty. They're evil, horrible, bad bins. Um, and yeah, uh, I learned all that out the hard way. The first time I did it, I had all of my bins that I had going, which are all currently stored in turtle here or in gauge here. Um, I had one of these bins that was full of like stone blocks, another one that was full of, um, I think it was the white clay, and I popped them just took the wrench to them and boop, and all of a sudden I my computer um, pooped itself um, literally 
it would not function. It just sat there with blocks flying everywhere and making all kinds of noises and oh, it was scary in a bad way, scary. So just be aware of that. These are the bins from Mechanism. They're inexpensive. They hold almost as much as a barrel. Um, they're not nearly as cheap as a barrel, and I. Yeah, I I don't have anything against the guy not putting the Java Barrels mod in here because everybody uses it, you know. But um, when you replace something like that and don't have an alternative, uh, or it's just what did I say? Welcome to Blood Moon Rising. Or the alternative is just bins. Um, yeah, they're not my favorite. They're a little bit touchy, so there's that. Now, <clears throat> I relocated the um, lasers here. Let's see if I can take a look at this one. I relocated the markers so that they're actually in the floor. Um, and then forming the square underneath. The reason I did this with the torches was I want this stairwell to stay open because you can't place a block beside where it's already got a block on, so it won't block the, that off with, um, with anything. It's not because I was trying to have a decorative. Um, I do need to make a couple. Actually, I don't need to worry about here because it's going to build the wall. But um, this is ready to go. Uh, I have been making concrete because I want the concrete for the floor. So here's the filler. We're going to set this down here. Um, and we're going to not fill, not flatten, not frame, not pyramid, not stairs, box. Clear cylinder box. I believe we'll. I'm not sure if box will do all six sides or if it'll just do the floor. Uh, do not click the excavate. So we don't want it to excavate. Um, I'm not sure what these are about. Then you put in your building material that you want to work with. So a little bit more of that in here. And the stone, this is sand, I don't want that one. Gate. Where is stone? Iron bars, crack stone. I want crack stone or just standard. Let's go crack stone. I mean, it's basement, right? Basements are starting to show wear, crack. Yeah, we'll do that. Now again, these one punch, they're like a, act like a barrel, one punch on the face, and they kick out a whole stack, um, as opposed to the drawers, which are backwards. Um, something I'd like to see drawers change. start with this and then we'll come back and we'll add more. See unfortunately these won't load with an empty hand. Okay. Now did I save any of my land markers or just the one? Oh there's two. Let me get three. Okay, now all we need is power for this thing. So I'm just gonna run a little bit of leadstone flux duct out here.
Draw back with luggage, guys. He disappears. When you need him, he's gone. Gage, where are you? See, the AI on this thing is messed up. I didn't pick him up, put him back in my inventory, did I? No. There you go. Get far enough away and he'll show up. <clears throat> All right, so I've got about 20 minutes before the blood moon uh, passes. So I'm going to set these two solar panels up here like that. And this will start, it will start working um, until these run out of power. They just, whatever stored power they had in them. And then. So I'm going to pause here for a minute and then I'll come back as soon as it's daylight and we'll get back into building that base. Go away, Gage. Need you. Be right back, kids. Okay, we're back. Um, it's daytime now. Thanks for another blood moon. Let's see why this thing is not doing its thing. I just came over to take a look to see if it was actually running. That seems to have stopped. Which doesn't surprise me anymore. Okay, where's all your inventory? What the heck? All right, hold on, we got an issue here. I had enough material in there, I should have built this whole box up two layers. Um, started oh it's not oh so my math was wrong we're not going to admit that I have met wrong math but you know when you run stuff into the calculator and it says you need this many squares and I do that many squares plus a few extras I kind of expect it to you know do that many squares Okay, so from the looks of things, I need to add in uh, another stack or so of, of stuff. Now, do you think we got enough thrust to get up here? Boink. Yes, we do. <laughs> Barely. Run out of stuffs. Am I going to be able to get right there? All right. So give me a couple of those, and we'll go you and those two. go take a look and that should be more than enough but obviously um, I'm off okay just a little bit more and I'll have a full layer up perfect so we'll just do we'll throw in one more stack and call it good ow ow Oh, that's right. This is why I can't walk around with Gage. The turret targets Gage and then shoots me in the, when I'm running by. I remember that. Come here, stupid. Okay, so. One of 
these and we're just gonna start dumping that clear glass in there. See how far this gets. Okay, we seem to have run out of glass just a little bit short here, uh, which might have a stack or two more. Don't think I do, but I'm going to take a look. I had to turn off. I'm trying to start making some um, stone. I want to start making some stone because I want to. <laughs> Welcome to Blood Moon Rising. <clears throat> I start making stone for uh, the tinkers thing. Empty bin. Because I do need to make a couple of large smelteries. Um, part of the processing that has to go on. this. And we'll finish off with stones. Whatever is left. Basic stone brick. it says okay now hopefully it's not full of creepers um, one of the problems with the blood moons of course is no matter how much you torch creepers like to spawn in here and I forgot to bring um, yeah ladders they're useless Okay, now we've made ourselves um, clear glass. I'm going to have to make up some more concrete. I didn't think I thought I had enough, but I obviously I didn't. So I'm going to make up some more concrete, and then I'm going to come down here and replace all of this stone uh, with the concrete. And I'll probably do is go around here and replace this layer of glass with stone brick or cracked stone brick. Um, I need to put in some staircases and eventually uh, elevators and whatnot. But that's that for now. Okay. And, oh, and this layer, of course, um, 
Now, like I said, wherever you put a torch, it doesn't um, it doesn't place a glass block or any block, which means I got to come back and remove all those torches and replace those blocks as well. Now, the bottom layer I'm going to do is have um, essentially processing. That's going to be basically, um, as I said, I was making the big smelteries. I'm going to put down a couple of large smelteries down here. Um, probably a couple of large uh, storage um, tanks and storage, um, what do you call them, the, uh, the, the power storage things and whatnot. Just stuff that I would normally have bulk of. Um, this layer here, I'm going to have just strictly bin stores. Like this is going to have these modular storage units. I got to make a bunch of these bins and the deep storage units. And essentially, I'm going to have it. Uh, I'm going to set it up so that the bins have an input at one end and work back and forth. Now the problem is, of course, is I need blaze rods to make. Um, the nether chests or the ender chests that I want. So I have to grow some blaze powder and to do that I have to make a blaze rod which yeah um, probably do spawn some blazes in a bucket of lava or something. I'm not sure which. I've been looking at a couple of ways to make stuff. But uh, that uh, where is this is something I've been putting off for a while I do have a couple of completed quests um, of course the bakeware from Pam's so we'll go reward bag number one French toast I haven't made these and it's essentially just kind of derping around with those. I haven't done that. This die seed quest. Um, this is something I'm going to have to look into, uh, and again, go over to the garden, and I'll start doing that. Um, I do have a couple of my magic crops now are up to ten, ten, tens, uh, include especially the redstone one. Okay, and we'll open up this one and to the clouds. Yeah, I haven't actually made the portal. I just, I had the glowstone and I mean, how, bucket of water. I mean, come on, start off the game with it. So, there we go. Um, collect these arrow clouds. I have never been to the Aether and I've seen some videos on it and uh, I'm not sure I want to go there anytime soon. Don't know where the labyrinth, no idea what the labyrinth is or how to figure this out. So I'm going to have to look into that. Obviously, not anytime soon. The bug dimension, stone bricks, leaves, a staff, a gay, and a keystone. Um, okay. Uh, that's another one I haven't gotten around to. Um, of course, the RF tools I want to really and, and do want to get working on those. Um, so, well, as you can see, most of this is still completely locked up. Um, I haven't really focused on any quests. 16 gold ingots and a stack of crushed netherrack. So yeah, I need to go and take a stack of netherrack and crush it. It's kind of just one of those things that has to be done. And yeah, going to the nether that's not exactly high on my list at any time. Um, still working on these. Believe it or not, I'm still working on these. And this just, I haven't had a need for it, so at this point in time, I've just left it again with this as well. 
Um, some of these are already complete. Like I've already done everything in them, you know. And it's just basically a matter of unlock the one previous to it. So that's all got to be worked on. Uh, at some point in time, I'm going to sit down and make all of these plates um, and my knapsack. This is something I keep forgetting to make. <clears throat> and the traveler's gloves. Um, I do dig with my hands periodically, so I still want to keep that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that anytime soon. But, so there we have it, kids. Um, thanks all for watching. And here's the old Minecraft punch. And I'm not doing the jump because I'm wearing my jetpack again. And last time I did that, I flew off and landed over there somewhere. <laughs> not what I wanted to have happen. Scared the, you know, out of me. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, next, uh, next time I'm going to try to get some stuff together and I want to work on either that mob farm or on that, uh, storage room. I'm going to keep grinding away on the, the magic crops and whatever. So, um, not sure exactly when this episode is going to be up, but it should probably be in it within a few days. So this is about two days before or a day before Christmas now. So probably going to be up just before the new year so i'm going to say i hope you had a good holidays and i do hope you enjoy your new years um good night for now